first mod is called Generation Zero Refine. This mod does a lot for the graphics of the game with refined menus, heads up display, map icons, and some really cool start screens. The second is the weapon skin mod. This mod really makes the weapons look cool. The best being the PVG 90 50 cal. If you are a fan of the 50 cal, this is the mod to have. With the new Generation Zero Refine mod loaded, we get these really cool uh, in intro screens compared to the vanilla version, and plus this little cool tick that is your icon now instead of just the vanilla red bar that goes across. Get a new character menu, which is cleaner. I like the colors and the fonts. Inventory screens, I think, are cleaner with the new fonts and without all the colored bars that you normally have. Map icon, the only one that's changed is the safe house icon. I wish all of them had changed. You get, um, again, you don't have all the little colored bars that go across the top. This mod does give you a rebalanced protective mask or gas mask they call it here uh, with 100% gas resistance which I think it should be. Next we're going to be looking at the weapon skin mod and our inventory. We're going to look at all of our vanilla weapons as they come in the game which they're not bad looking weapons and they are very authentic to the time period but with the weapon skins they look so much better and it makes the weapons more fun to play with in my opinion. The only issue I had was in inventory the PVG90 50 cal does not render correctly with the skin loaded but in gameplay it looks freaking amazing. So as you can see we got woodland camouflage on most of our weapons. Uh, level 5 weapons aren't necessarily camouflage but they do get a new skin so and I think they're they're really cool the level 6 stuff that's gold um, or the level 5 stuff that's gold level 5 attachments that are gold go great with this camouflage pattern and as you'll see here the um, 50 cal did not render exactly the way it should have when in my inventory but again in a couple seconds you'll see in gameplay it's an absolutely gorgeous weapon alright let's take a look at some of these weapons in action PVG 90 probably the best looking gun there is. The gold, the red, everything on it blends well. It's just a gorgeous looking weapon. The texture, everything. Quickly became my most favorite gun to carry around. AI-76, another great looking weapon. Level 5 attachments, the wood, the camouflage pattern. It blends so well. HP-5 with the red camo. We're gonna sh I'm going to show you how to load this. I think this looks great. This is an awesome looking badass weapon. AG-5, another great looking weapon. Camouflage is so commando. KVM machine gun. Again, the woodland camouflage is awesome looking. Clock 17 experimental. Again, great paint job. Alright, let's get into loading these mods. First, we're going to go to the link in the description. Then we're going to go to the Nexus mod page for Generation Zero Refine. Here you're going to see that the mod author has given us uh, things that have changed in game that this mod changes as well as some basic instructions to load the mod. Now I emphasize basic because as you'll see later on other mods use these same exact instructions and if you use these instructions the way they're written you will end up overriding any mod you've loaded previously with a current mod. He's also given us some Nvidia settings to help make this mod look better, the graphics. If you use Radeon, uh, Radeon card, settings are going to be very similar. Not exactly, but they are going to be very similar. He does give us uh, some bonus content as well as how to uninstall particulars of the mod that you may not like. So we're just going to go and pick the latest download, uh, latest version. We're going to download it. Once it downloads, once it starts downloading, we're going to go back and we're going to go uh, find the weapon skin page, which is the link is also in the description. And we're going to download the weapon skin that is the woodland camouflage for all weapons. Now he has other versions in there. If you follow these instructions, you can use any of them. And you'll notice on, when you go to this page, of course it's the same mod author, same instructions are there. Again, if you follow those instructions, you're going to overwrite anything that you've tried to load previously. So we're going to explain in detail how we can load these mods side by side without any game issues. And again, it's the same. We're going to go to the Files tab. We're going to download our particulars. We're going to go back, download our red camo for the HP5, because I particularly like that. I like the red camo on a lot of the weapons. We're going to download those to wherever your browser happens to download. 
and then we're going to go into the downloads folder. All right, one second, guys. I want to digress for just a second. I want to go back to the Generation Zero Refine mod and the Weapon Skin mod pages. And I want you to notice that the directions to install these two mods are completely identical. They're very basic, but they are identical. This is a common thing among Generation Zero mods. None of the instructions explain how to install a mod side by side with another mod. Only on this channel are you going to get that information. I've done all this trial and error. I've figured out the directory structures and how to put the different mods together. Now, when it comes to some of the graphic mods, if you want to change graphics in one and change other attributes of graphics in another, you may have no choice but to overwrite one mod for another. But if you follow these instructions, in our case, if I was to load the Refine mod, turn around and load the Skins mod, the Skin mod would overwrite everything that's in the folder for the Refine mod, and only the Skins would load. So we're going to, I'm going to show you here in a second, the directory structure and how to make this happen, so you can have more than one mod loaded. All right, let's get to loading some mods. First thing we want to do is put two File Explorer windows side by side. One is going to be our downloads. The other is going to be our local drive C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and generation zero. We're going to go back over to our downloads folder and to our generation zero refine folder and copy drop zone from there into our generation zero folder. Then we're going to open the drop zone folder, models, and you'll see you only have man made in there. All right, go back to downloads. We're going to go to our weapon skins, drop zone models and copy weapons from there to our drop zone folder in generation zero. Open the weapons folder, go back to downloads, and we're going to copy the HP 5 weapon mod in drop zone models weapons and MP5 underscore zero one and paste it into our weapons folder. And you want to replace that file. So now we can go into Steam. We want to copy the command from the mod page if you haven't already copied it. And we're going to go into Steam, right click on Generation Zero, Properties, Launch Options, paste the launch option in there, tell it OK, launch Steam normally, and that's it. <laughs> 